Hi, Jimmy, again with the Quilter Show and Tell. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun with a lot of beautiful quilts, and today is no exception. We have with us today Patty. Patty is our genealogist here at the uh, library, so Patty has brought some beautiful quilts by, so we're going to let Patty explain to us and tell us all about the quilts. <laughs> I'm not really a quilt expert, but uh, my mother made this one, uh, and Jimmy says it's a snowball, but it's a pink snowball pattern and uh, it's all hand stitched and uh, I've attempted but I didn't have the talent my mother or my grandmother's had so uh, but I was very proud and honored to have it in her memory and uh, as you can see it's like new I've, I've never really it, used uh, it uh, so she's used a white cotton batting mm -hmm. and you can see the pretty quilting uh, on the back side just as much as you do on the front side. Mm -hmm. And I like the way she's uh, brought the back end around and bound it mm -hmm. uh, with the white band. It makes yeah, it look different. So, yeah, so. It's a beautiful quilt and I love the colors, Patty. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> what, uh, do, like, you, do you know what year she did this? Uh, probably in the 70s, 80s, 70s. I'd say. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. she did a good job and I know you're proud of it. Yeah, I am. And I appreciate you letting me show it. We're back with Patty's. Patty has brought another beautiful quilt here, and it's uh, it looks like a rose or a tulip design, uh, and I think it's something button. I'm not sure what it is, but anyway, it's a, a beautiful quilt. Uh, tell us a little bit about it, Patty. Well, like you say, I'm not sure of the pattern, but now this was made by my mother's mother, uh, my Granny Morrison, and uh, she lived in Adair County in Columbia, Kentucky. And I remember when I was growing up, she had one of the quilt frames that hung from the that ceiling. Hung from the ceiling. I don't think I actually really saw her quilting, but I know this has to be one that she made. And uh, it's probably was made early forties, maybe. I don't know. In the 40s. But it's, well, uh, yeah. You can tell. You can yeah. tell it's uh, old, and there's some small pieces. There's a lot of work in there, mm -hmm. and yeah. it's uh, it's. Uh, backed by the same material that she's used for the squares mm -hmm. and also bound by the same material. Right. And I was just looking and the stitches are so small that it mm -hmm. looks like that it's a, a machine. Yeah, but she, she hand quilted it all of it. You can tell and it's, mm -hmm. it's very small hand stitched. Mm -hmm. yeah, it it's a beautiful a, quilt. Yeah, it took a lot of work and uh, I don't see how anybody can do these tiny little stitches. <laughs> so how long have you had the quilt? I guess probably it might have been at Mother and Daddy's, probably after Mother and Daddy passed. Well, probably I, know, since I know you cherish it, and I, I would if it was mine, because it's a beautiful quilt. Yeah, she lived to be 94, I think. Well, thank yeah. you for bringing it by. Well, you're welcome, and I'm proud of it. We're back. Patty has brought another pretty quilt here, and uh, it is a star pattern, and I'm not sure if it's a... Uh, uh, Texas Long Star or what it is, but it is a beautiful quilt, Patty. I Tell us a little bit about it. Well, this was made by my Granny Morrison also, my mother's mother. And uh, again, it's all hand quilted, hand pieced, hand quilted. And, and here's little four leaf clovers yeah, in the middle. Some. And uh, the colors, I just, I think she did real well with the colors. And as you can tell, it's been hand quilted and again those little tiny stitches just amaze me <laughs> and she's gone around the design on the quilting as well as uh, when she and I like the way that she's done a border and mm -hmm. in the corners put a star so mm -hmm. it's, it's a so, beautiful quilt yeah, and so. she has uh, uh, lined the quilt with the same material again mm -hmm. as she used in the front mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, the pattern actually shows pretty on the back as, as much as it does on the front. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful quilt. Well, I'm uh, proud of it. And like, you know, we've said before, memories. So yeah, this one was I, quilted uh, sometimes in the early the, 40s. Probably the 30s, or, yeah, early or late well, 30s. Late 30s or, 30s or, 30s or, or early 40s. 40s. Mm -hmm. Well, you can so, tell that it's got some yeah. age behind it because oh, yeah. of the stitching and mm -hmm. of the materials yeah. that have been used. Well, I'm real proud and, of it. And, and uh, I love my Granny Morrison. I guess I hate to say it, but she was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all have that favorite. Yeah, yeah. But it's a beautiful quilt, Patty, and we want to thank you for coming well, by. Well, thank you and, for uh, letting me do this. Sweet. I appreciate it. 
We've enjoyed it, and uh, you've had some beautiful quilts. Thank you, and I'm proud of them.